This video is about evaluating inverse trig functions. For this uh, coordinate plane, let's label as uh, negative pi over 2. 0, pi over 2, pi, cosine, sine, tangent. The range of inverse cosine is uh, between 0 and uh, pi. The range of uh, inverse sine and uh, tangent is uh, between negative uh, pi over 2 and uh, pi over 2. Let's go to inverse cosine of uh, x. Label 0 pi over 2 pi. The coordinates 1, 0, 0 pi over 2, negative 1 pi. For inverse cosine x, domain is between negative 1 and 1. Range is between 0 and a pi. For reference angle theta, then the second quadrant will be pi minus theta. If pi over n is the reference angle, then the second quadrant will be n minus 1 pi over n. From this diagram, inverse cosine of 1 equals 0. Inverse cosine of 0 equals pi over 2. Inverse cosine of negative 1 equals pi. Inverse sine and a tangent. Let's label negative pi over 2. 0 pi over 2. The coordinate negative 1, 0, 1. So for inverse sine x, domain is between negative 1 and 1. Range is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Inverse sine of negative 1 equals negative pi over 2. Inverse sine of 0 equals 0. Inverse sine of 1 equals pi over 2. Inverse tangent of x. Domain is all real numbers. Range is from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And inverse tangent of 0 equals 0. If theta is the first quadrant angle, then negative theta will be the fourth quadrant angle. Pi over n as a reference angle, then for the fourth quadrant angle will be negative pi over n. Answer to inverse cosine will be either in first quadrant or second quadrant. Inverse cosine of a positive x is in first quadrant. Inverse cosine of a negative x is in second quadrant. First quadrant angle is between 0 and a pi over 2. Second quadrant angle is between pi over 2 and pi. If pi over n is the reference angle in first quadrant, then the second quadrant angle will be n minus 1 pi over n. For inverse sign, answer will be in the first quadrant or fourth quadrant. Negative pi over 2, 0, pi over 2.
inverse sine of negative x is in fourth quadrant. Inverse sine of a positive x is in first quadrant. If pi over n is the reference angle, fourth quadrant angle will be negative pi over n. For inverse tangent, the range is from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Inverse tangent of a positive x is in first quadrant. Inverse tangent of a negative x is in fourth quadrant. If a pi over n is the reference angle, then the fourth quadrant angle will be negative pi over n. Let's go to question one. Inverse sine of a square root of 3 over 2. Since the square root of 3 over 2 is a positive, go to the first quadrant. Sine is the opposite over hypotenuse. First quadrant. Square root of 3, 2. This will be 60 degree equals pi over 3. Question 2. Arc cosine negative square root of 3 over 2. This is a negative, which means uh, the answer is in the second quadrant. Cosine is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. Negative square root of 3. This is 1. So the reference angle is uh, 30 degree, which means uh, Reference angle is a pi over 6. Second quadrant angle is a n minus 1 pi over n. So we have 5 pi over 6. Let's go to question 3. Arc cosine negative square root of 2 over 2. Negative means uh, the answer is in second quadrant. Change negative square root of 2 over 2 into negative 1 over square root of 2. Cosine will be adjacent over hypotenuse, negative 1 square root of 2, 1. This will be 45 degree, which means the reference angle is the pi over 4. The second quadrant angle will be n minus 1 pi over n, which is 3 pi over 4. Number four, arc sine negative square root of two over two. Since uh, this is negative, go to the fourth quadrant for inverse uh, sine. Still, I need to change this into negative one over square root of two. Square root of two, negative one. This is one. We know the reference angle is a 45 degree. In the fourth quadrant, will be negative pi over n pattern. So we get negative pi over 4. Let's go to question 5. Inverse tangent square root of 3 over 3. Positive square root of 3 over 3 means the answer is in the first quadrant. We will change this into 1 over square root of 3. 1 square root of 3. So we know this angle is a 30 degree. Answer is pi over 6. For 6, arc tangent negative square root of 3. Since this is a negative, so the answer is in the fourth quadrant. The pattern in the fourth quadrant is negative pi over n. Negative square root of 3, 1. So we know this is a 60 degree, which means a pi over 3 as a reference angle. The fourth quadrant will be negative pi over 3. We can draw a conclusion for the inverse of a negative x. For inverse of a negative x, if it's a special angle, 
equals、uh, n minus one pi over n. Inverse sine of、uh, negative x will be negative pi over n. Inverse tangent of、uh, negative x equals negative pi over n. This n equals three, four, six. Let's go to number seven. Inverse sine of、uh, negative one over two. The pi over n pattern. We need to get reference angle first. Two over h. Negative one two. So this angle is a thirty degree. Means the reference angle equals pi over six. Therefore, in the fourth quadrant, it will be negative pi over six. Number eight. Inverse cosine of negative one over two. Cosine. Negative will go to the second quadrant. Pattern is n minus one pi over n for the reference angle. Cosine equals a over h two negative one square root of three. This angle is a sixty degree, which means the reference angle equals pi over three. Therefore, n minus one pi over n will be two pi over three. Arc cosine negative one cosine zero pi over two pi. This is a one. Here is a zero. This is a negative one equals pi. Number ten. Arc sine negative one, sine negative pi over two, pi over two. This is a zero. T one, zero, one. Arc sine of negative one equals a negative pi over two. Let's go to number eleven. Inverse sine of zero, negative pi over two, zero, pi over two, zero zero, negative one, negative pi over two, one pi over two, so equals zero. Arc tangent negative one, we will put negative one over one since this is negative. For tangent, go to the fourth quadrant. All over a. Negative one over one. This is square root of two. So the reference angle is a pi over four. In the fourth quadrant, pattern will be negative pi over n. Answer is negative pi over four.